A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Gracious Ogun. The Israeli embassy in Nigeria has built and handed over an e-learning center for children in Nigeria. The gesture aims to boost virtual education for the kids. Israel envoy to Nigeria, Shimeon Ben Shushan, Monday, inaugurated the center in Abuja. The facility was handed over to Malpia Foundation. The ambassador said the center, which is a joint effort by private sector organization, is to commemorate 60 years of diplomatic relations between Israel and Nigeria. Moving on, the government of Kwara State, North Central Nigeria, has dissolved its cabinet. Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Rafiu Ajakai, said in a release that only the Secretary to the State Government, Professor Maman Jubri, retains a seat. The State Governor directed the former cabinet members to hand over to the most senior officers in their respective ministries. We take a short break now. When we return, Paul Okoye tests positive for COVID-19. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Jay Kepele. I'm the founder, CEO, the Albino Foundation. My name is Tega Omogo. I am a recovery coach and a substance abuse counselor. I'm Dorothy Njemanze, unapologetically human and a filmmaker. For all your informative and educational programs, please don't touch the dial. AD4 TV radio is it. Keep watching. Welcome back. On COVID-19, the daily cases of the virus has increased to more than 1,000 in South Korea. As a result of this, the government has expanded a ban on private gatherings larger than four people to cover the whole nation. The ban stretches across greater Seoul. South Korea has been experiencing a prolonged surge in infections during the latest wave, which has led to more deaths. The country reported 1,020 new coronavirus cases as of Sunday midnight, bringing the total to 64,264 infections with 981 deaths. And in Africa, Zimbabwe Tuesday entered into a second lockdown to limit the spread of coronavirus. The southern African country is already experiencing a surge in new cases. The restrictions include a stay-at-home order, accept movement to access food and medicine, and this will be in place for the next 30 days. The president, however, urged people to avoid large gatherings and non-essential travel. And in entertainment, Paul Okoye of the dissolved Peace Square Music Group has tested positive for coronavirus. The singer, who announced the development on his Instagram page, said he has been under medical treatment for the condition in the last 10 days. He urged citizens and his fans to be careful and adhere to COVID-19 prevention guidelines. Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly. Use alcohol-based and sanitizers. Wear your masks besides maintaining social distancing. That's it for AD4 TV Radio News Update. Coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at AD4 TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Gracious Ogun.